Hello everyone and welcome back to a, another review, but this time it is a movie review. Now this is the first movie review I have ever done. And not last night, the night before, I went to see the new Independence Day, which was awesome. But I wanted to do a review, I put a little video up on Friday asking you guys if you actually wanted a review. And I got quite a couple of you guys actually saying that you did, and other people who have messaged me on Snapchat and different places saying that they do as well. So I thought I'd do it. So I've got five thing, like five main points that I wanted to discuss with you guys, and this won't be like a massive video; it'll just be like a quick little video. But if you do enjoy this, I will do other reviews on the sort of like the old movies and sort of more recent movies, the movies that are coming out. So I'll do that for you guys if you want. All right, the first, the first, the first, the first point I wanted to make was that this movie is a sequel to the 1990s film Independence Day. Now this one was bigger and better than the last one, mostly because we had sort of better graphics now and the CGI capabilities of today compared to the ones that we had in the early to late 90s. So that's like our main factor there. What Roland Emmerich did with CGI in the original film was still pretty good, but this one is sort of more digital and it did look pretty awesome. And no spoilers, there is a massive, massive alien you see in the movie, and this thing is freaking huge. I'll talk more about that afterwards. So the second point I wanted to make was that there are a lot of returning characters in this movie. This includes Jeff Goldberg, Bill Pullman, who is playing the president, who sort of got a little bit crazy. Well, not sort of like a little bit I won't ruin it for you. This is a spoiler-free review, by the way. So I've just got IMDb up. And you've got... Oh yeah, William Fincher is back from the original movie, and you've got um, Julius, who was the father of Jeff Goldberg's character in this movie, and you've got um, Dr. Oakham as well, Dr. Oakham, the crazy, crazy scientist guy in Area 51. He was actually in a coma, I forgot, in the first one, and he sort of wakes up like halfway through the movie in this one. He's been in a coma for like 20 years or something. And Dylan, yeah, so there's a character in the movie who is named Dylan, which is the kid of Will Smith in the first movie. I thought that was a sort of a good time because Will Smith obviously isn't in this one. Not sure why. It seemed a little bit weird that Will Smith wasn't in this one. I don't know. Third point I wanted to make was that there is sort of like a massive all-seeing sort of like alien ball sphere type thing that sort of comes in halfway through the movie. And this thing has knowledge through of like the entire universe and alien technology, which is also setting up the third movie to the end of the film. You'll know what I mean when you actually see it. But they actually come at first and the humans attack it thinking it's the aliens. But it was actually a massive ship to come and save the human race from the aliens that are coming. These ships are massive, by the way. When they land, they take, they go actually, uh, they actually go across Earth, like they land across, like probably across like two continents when they land. So this, these ships are freaking massive. I just remembered, should have told you that. The fourth, yeah, the fourth point I wanted to make was that there is definitely going to be a third movie. Honestly, I didn't really think that they could do a sequel for Independence Day, but it really worked out. He's done a really good job with this old Roland Emmerich. And the fifth point I wanted to make was the Queen. Now I said the Queen a little bit earlier. The Queen was basically this massive alien in the middle of the returning ship. It's like a, they were saying it's like the Harvest Queen, so it's like a sort of a hive of bees, but it's aliens instead. So I thought that was really cool. The Queen actually comes out at the end and sort of attacks everyone in this Queen is like freaking huge, it's awesome. But the CGI and the special effects in this film are spectacular. I would definitely recommend going out and checking out this film because it is awesome. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, and if you want me to do more, don't forget to leave a like. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.